So the bride will be arriving shortly if you guys would like to take a uh, seat, gather around. There's some seats up here, right? Over there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> They're on their way, guys. Yep, and they're going to come right through those two yellow flowers, so please take a seat so they can walk through there. Oh, here they come. Come back! We want a wedding! <laughs> I'm sorry. location to share the joy of this special occasion. We are gathered here to witness the formal joining in the legal state of matrimony of Kristen and Mark according to the order and the custom prevailing in the province of British Columbia. It is 
quite special as well for me to officiate Kristen's <laughs> wedding because I happen to work with her mother, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Kristen a, a while ago asked me if it was possible for a friend of hers, <clears throat> a dear friend of hers, and of also Mark, to uh, be part of the, the officiating of the wedding. And I am just so happy and so honored <laughs> to stand up here with Kristen and Mark celebrating one of the coolest and most inspiring couples that I know. Along with all of you guys, those who are special and important to Kristen and Hammer. You have all contributed to their past in some way. And by being here today, they are asking you to share in their beautiful future together. To me, Kristen and Hammer's relationship is the epitome of marriage. I've heard either of them speak a critical word about the other. And there have been <laughs> Nice try. Okay, I have seen Hammer so many times in his corner at a bar, slamming coconies, railing on about one thing or another, but never has friendship with someone who helps you realize your goals, someone who makes you laugh even when they drive you a little crazy, and someone who is firmly beside you at each bend your life takes as it rivers <clears throat> Where one goes, the other will follow. And Hammer and Kristen abide by this rule like no others. They have committed themselves to a life that is shared, putting the interests of their togetherness. Very good. Mm -hmm. And here's the legality. <laughs> <laughs> I charge and require of you both in the presence of these witnesses, that if either of you know of any legal impediment to this marriage, you do now reveal the same. <laughs> now pronounce the following vows. All right, start with you, Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mark Hammerschmidt. Take Kristen Tunison. I'm Mark Hammerschmidt. Take Kristen Tunison. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. The partner who I will support and respect. The partner who I support and respect. Through all her successes as well as her failures. Through all her successes as well as your, her failures. <laughs> <laughs> who. <laughs> <laughs> who I will faithfully love every part of. Who I faithfully love every part of. Through good times and bad. Through good times and bad. Who I will support, or sorry, who I will grow with and nurture. Who I will grow with and nurture. For the rest of our lives. For the rest of our lives. Kristen, mm -hmm. I, Kristen Tunison, take <coughs> Mark Hammerschmied. I, Kristen Tunison, take Mark Hammerschmied. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. The partner who I will support and respect. The partner who I will respect. Support, support, support and respect, not report. <laughs> 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 Officer. As well as his failures. As well as his failures. Who I will faithfully love every part of. Who I will faithfully love every part of. Through good times and bad. Through good times and bad. Who I will grow with and nurture. Who I will grow with and nurture. For the rest of our lives. For the rest of our lives. <laughs> Do you have rings? Oh, I think so. The most casual wedding. This is cute. So, the wedding ring is a symbol of lifelong commitment. It's a perfect circle without an ending. And it's a reminder that your love is a circle of joy and fulfillment. And since you've just spoken those very important words, it is a promise to faithfully love every part of you. And it's a promise to faithfully love every part of you. As I witness the person you become. As I witness the person you become. It is a reminder of my trust, my loyalty. It's a reminder of my trust and loyalty. And my love that will last the rest of our lives. And my love that lasts the rest of our lives. <laughs> 
commit my life to yours. It is a promise to faithfully love every part of you. Promise to faithfully love every part of you. As I witness the person you become. As I witness the person you become. It is a reminder of my trust and loyalty. It's a reminder of my trust and loyalty. And my love that will last the rest of our lives. And my love that will last the rest of our lives. And now, as you, Kristen, and you, Mark, have declared in legal wedlock and have declared your solemn intentions in this company and before these witnesses and in my presence, and have given these rings as the pledge of your vows to one another. Now, upon the authority vested in me by the province of British Columbia, I pronounce you husband and wife. You make Woo! Both the Boo! <laughs> 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 now you do have to make this wedding legal. So <laughs> together then. I even tagged along on their first dinner date. <laughs> <laughs> it's as awkward as it sounds. Hammer did actually invite me and it made a good impression Maybe on both of us. <laughs> um, what also made a good impression was the first time that Kristen invited Hammer over to our house for a barbecue dinner. He showed up fully loaded. He had smeared out ice, sausages, <laughs> chocolate chip cookies, <laughs> and um, yeah, Kristen was quite impressed. I think the spark really lit up in her heart at that point. <laughs> Boyfriend uh, potential, and let's just say Hammer's been bringing the sausage ever since. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> ha, 
Eleven years ago. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of sausage. <laughs> <laughs> that fall, they also uh, worked on their first big project as a new couple together, stocking a winter's worth of firewood. And if anyone has seen the wood pile at her <laughs> stack, <laughs> at uh, Mark and Kristen's house, you'll know that this is no casual undertaking. <laughs> there was a lot of precise measuring and cutting and splitting and stacking going on, and these guys rocked it. They laughed and had fun the whole day, and uh, I could see that and what a great team they were going to be. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't using that saw. <laughs> it's a great team is uh, when you have each other's back and bring out the best in each other. And uh, Kristen and Mark definitely do that for each other. Kristen. <laughs> and Kristen's always looking out for Hammer. For instance, uh -oh. she's always been um, eager to coach him in perfecting his command of the English language, which he's got to dialed, for sure. But sometimes there's some sayings or slogans that can be a little bit confusing. So, for instance, the time when Kristen Kristen told him that the expression is actually pussy footing around, not pussy farting. <laughs> for adventure and they're never afraid to take on any, any challenge. Together they've climbed mountains, they've traveled around the world, they've even remodeled their kitchen. <laughs> they pull it all off seamlessly and have a fantastic time and get closer and closer with every new challenge that they take. So I'm glad that you guys finally quit pussy footing <laughs> and tied the knot. So if everyone can raise their glasses.
right, uh, hammer into the country, smuggle them into the country. I'm a funny face, it's called an Austria. All the cattle come the guy and that person is me. Thanks for playing, Ray, for the bridegroom. All the best to you too. Cheers.